Think about it, man. You shoot me, who are you gonna pin this shit on? You wouldn't pin it on Indy. Sweet, harmless Indy wouldn't hurt a fly. And of course, there's Elliot. But even a dog like you wouldn't hang his only best mate out to dry like that. What about Hallie? Because if I'm gone, and you're not pinning this on the other two, then it's gotta be Hallie. Would you let Hallie take it for you again? One more fucking word. One more. That's how you take care of fucking business.
towards this about? Just a friendly little chat. A little powwow. Oh, and not so friendly the powwow. Well, what can I do for you? You can start by telling no, us. No, I don't remember you asking you start anything. By taking that glass of H2O. Like this? Now drink, Arthur. Cry out loud, knock it off. Both of you. The lady's right. I'll stop measuring dicks. What can I do for you? Do you know what these are? Here's some little coward didn't have the sack to look the man in the eye. I don't know what you're talking about. You've been after me for years anyway. So why don't you go take that raging heart on of yours and put it to good use? We were hoping you'd be more cooperative than this, Mr. Cork. Yeah, well, I'm here, aren't I? And you bastards still haven't said why. Arthur. Arthur. My name's Jay. Arthur. 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 You can start by telling us where you were yesterday afternoon and into the evening. I was seeing a movie. A movie. A movie. What movie, Mr. Cork? The Usual Suspects. Remember, you heard it here first. It's always us and them. Who now? Them. Well, who is them? Think about it. What makes the world turn? Money. You either have it or you don't. Yeah, and it's like no matter how hard we work, we just can't get ahead. Oh, you work. Okay, so maybe not how hard I work, mm. but uh, where he's coming from, though. Well, where's he coming from? I'd say he's coming from over there. We need to send a message. What kind of message? A very loud and a very clear message. We need to send a message to all those rich fucks who sit up there all high and mighty and looking down at us. Yeah, the, the, the ones that just throw all their cash around and... I don't... I don't fucking know. Mm. They're, just, they're assholes though. Well done. I cut it oh, out. I don't know about you, but when was the last time you felt safe and sound and didn't have to worry about anything? See, those rich fucks, they don't have to worry about that. They always feel safe and they're never worrying about having to scrape by to survive. I can't remember the last time I had a decent steak. Well, you want some of my steak sandwich? You orders? Who do you think's fucking paying for that? I'm not sure. I guess I'm not worrying about my next meal. You know the house is on Balfour Avenue? Oh, I'd love to live there one day. Better start saving on pennies then. Or learn to lay down and use it as a cash register. You know, it's funny about uh, Balfour Avenue, but such a nice, quiet little neighborhood. Rich as hell, though. Yeah, it's so nice. Hey, you remember that one girl we went to school with? She was, she was like that perfect little princess. Uh, Annalise, that was her name. Her father was this big time investor guy. Was this the girl who didn't want to tug Elliot mm -hmm. behind the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> she said it had something to do with her reluctance to wank the yank. You <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Does she still live there though? I think so. Was this the guy who killed his wife? Oh, yeah, he beat the charge. What? Yeah, beat the charge. The witness up and left. Up and left. Mm. Turned up in Spain somewhere. 
refused to come back and fucking testify. Who's this now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, a, a cleaner. Said this old guy. Uh, what's his name? I don't know. I never met him. Well, said this uh, oh. girl's father drank a half bottle of scotch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, a good one. Oh. Go on. Yeah. Then the missus turned up. They got into an argument about something. And he pulled out a pistol. That's all she wrote. And this guy just fucking moves the witness on. So the story goes. That's fucked. Shit. This is what I'm telling you. Money. The rich are literally getting away with murder. And where'd you hear about it all? I was in all the papers. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you fucking read papers? I don't, but I did use them as blankets for a while. Can you sleep for three nights? Fucking great read. No, you could. Shut your legs, Indy. Your breath stinks. You're such a dick. Enough. What about the girl? No. Well, she was pretty hot back then, but I don't know if I'd act like. Try and understand what I'm asking you, for fuck's sake. What are you asking? He's asking if you know what happened to Annalise. She stayed with the dead. Uh, she never talked about it. I, I don't think she was old enough to know what was going on. I'm just old enough to know that mummy wasn't going to come back and tuck her into the night. Another mother bites the dust. Fuck this, we're all beating around the obvious here. Um, what's the obvious? I think we have an opportunity here. There you go. To exact some justice for the fallen woman of the house. And send a very clear and loud message. How clear? Crystal. I just wish we knew where this rich bastard lived. Anyway, we could do this. How about it? I'm always up for anything. Fuck off, sir. Follow the leader. Even have the perfect house. Did you shit yourself? No, it's the dumpsters, man. Oh, boy, Fuck, that is I don't crazy. fucking shit myself, all right? Sure, mate. It's the dumpsters, I'm telling you. Like... Fuck off. Was it sponsored? Yeah, man. Hey, you. You want anything before we head no, off? No, I'm all right. Oh, yeah, no, come, come with me, smoke. Mate. All right. Like. Boys got ciggies? Cool. Good cash. Yeah, yeah, I got Hey, Norman. Just those three things. Oh, no, yeah. Fuck. Every time, man. Every time. Come on, you look like the 15. Fuck off, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, can we go to some bags? Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Just... Busy night. No, no, no need for a seat, man. They're gonna be gone the second we walk out. I'm not going back. He doesn't give a shit, man. Probably do the same thing in our shoes. Yeah. Cheers, man. Cheers. Take it easy. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> you have a good night. You need an opener? I might need an opener, yeah. Yeah, I got one. Give me that. Alright. Oi! Me first. Oh, hold oh, on, oh. You're good. Come on, man, we're not here to fuck spiders. Yeah, this one's a piece of shit, but. Fuck me. So I've got Dino holding at the party. Yeah. You always want any? Uh, I mean, if you have to ask the question, you know. Alright. Oh. What's you got? What's he got? Just a bit of whiz. What? You'll be right. right. How much yeah, he drinks of shit? Want. What percentage is it? I don't know. Are you serious? What? What percentage is this? Fuck, you're a girl. <laughs> well, fuck, I've still got drinks at the party. I don't want to waste my money and fucking get wasted already. Fuck. Oh. So I got a welfare meeting on Thursday now because I haven't been for any 
job search for the last two, three months. Oh, yeah. You handed in that resume at that. Uh, no, she won't. She won't take it. No. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Check this shit out. It's not bad. Nah, it's got an alarm. That's all right. Forget it, man. Nah, we can make this happen. Dude. Come on, let's go, guys. What are you Come saying? On. Leave it. I'm having a look. Just fucking sit still. We'll come back tomorrow, see if it's in a different spot out of the lights. Oh, fuck me, it's cold, boys. Well, tell me about it. I can see your nipples through your shirt. Shut up. <laughs> Some nice Fucking cars around. Yuppieville, man. Yeah, up crust fucks. What time, Mr. Cork? Uh, it was at 2.45. I remember that because I was there. See, I caught a bus, the 100. I don't have a car at the moment, unfortunately. Car thefts are down at the moment. Well, that's good to know. Uh, th there was this old lady on the bus. All these young boys, they were ignoring her, so I gave her my seat. Why did you do that? Oh, because my mother raised me right, detectives. Does woman have a name? Probably. But there was something that did strike me while I was on the bus. Go on, Mr. Cork. There was this couple, a young couple. He had blonde hair, she was red-headed, and she was scared. Both just sitting there. He wouldn't acknowledge her, wouldn't even hold her hand. Why did that strike you, Arthur? Because I don't like women beaters. How did you know he was a woman beater? Well, I've developed a bit of an eye for that. First-hand experience? I've never touched a woman. Never. Have I wanted to? Yeah. From time to time. But never. Have you seen this girl before, Mr. Cork? No, haven't seen her. She looks scared. Be like the girl on the bus. Who's she? We were hoping you could tell us, Arthur. Seeing as your print was found at the scene. That is not my name. This says it's a partial print. On a gate. And that address, that's a main road. I walk by there all the time. I could have brushed that when I was going to the bus. Before we continue, are you now saying, just so that we're clear, are you now saying that you've never before seen the young girl in this photograph? That's what I'm saying. What's it about? What's what about? The movie, Arthur. You and that fucking name? The movie, Mr. Cork. What about it? What's it about? The usual suspects. We know the title, Arthur. Yeah, but that's also what it's about. The usual suspects being dragged in by the law to confess for the sins of others. It's a bit like me. Is that how you feel, Mr. Cork? That we're asking you to confess to something you may not have done? No, not at all, Detective Gorge. Have you got something on you, Arthur? Something that might show us that you actually made the session? You know what? I didn't keep the ticket stub. That's okay, Mr. Cork. Do you have anything else then? A bus ticket? No, I didn't pay. Oh, did I just confess to fair evasion? 
What's that, like 200? Can be 550 if there's history. Do you have that, Mr. Cork? What, the money? She's talking about history, Arthur. You've got a bit of that, don't you? Don't we all? I bet even you two have history. Oh, wow. Haha, <laughs> nailed it. Obviously, you got there before I could. You horny bastards. You know he's married. Well, he didn't say, you didn't tell her? I don't blame you. She is very pretty. You are very, very pretty. Thank you, Mr. Cork. Hey man, I'll just get two, please. Thanks, man. Have a good night. Here, partner. No mustard, right? Partner? We don't talk anymore? Now you want to talk? What the hell does that even mean? You know damn well what that means, detectives. Now I'm supposed to open my mouth? Why the hell not? I've already opened up everything else. Hey, what do you want from me? Nothing, Matt. I don't want anything from you. Actually, I take that back. I want what anybody else in my position would want. However, seeing as that's not an option, which you've made perfectly clear, I'll settle for a partner out here on the job. Beyond that, you can go screw yourself, because I'm not doing it anymore. Just doing his job. Can't blame him for that. Mr. Cork, did you know that Call the... me. Yeah. Mr. Cork. Did you know that the young woman in that picture is pregnant? Well, pregnant? That poor girl. That's tragic. Can I ask you something? Okay. What makes you think I give a fuck about some dead, knocked up slag? I was just checking on your empathy levels, Mr. Cork. I'm afraid that tank's a little dry. Evidently. Well, this has been fun. Can I go now? Not quite, Mr. Cork. Well, what else do you want? You want to know my favourite colour, favourite food, position? I want to talk to you about Robert Hamilton Stewart.
one of them? Baby, you don't smoke. It's a nice night of real verse. Like a pro hung. <laughs> you got a good job? Yes. Does it pay well? Yes. I bet you got a nice car too. Yes. So, this one day, back when I was in school, I saw a group of girls, three or four of them. They were pushing around this little girl. I think they wanted her lunch money or something like that. Now this little girl, let's call her Vicky. Why Vicky? Vicky Victor. Now, Vicky, instead of simply giving in to the group, well she sat there in defiance and she took every little kick, every punch that that violent little group handed out. And I sat there and wondered, I wondered, why did she continue to refuse the group? When it was clear as day, they were just going to keep kicking and kicking and punching and punching. And then it hit me. The reason she was so content on taking that beating that left her beaten and bruised and bloody was in a word, spirit. Five tons of pure, unadulterated spirit. She was not going to show them that they could break her spirit. It was honourable, to be sure. Stupid, but honourable. What happened to her? Oh, she ended up in the emergency room, followed by the intensive care unit. It would have just been easier to give in, don't you think? Well, we're going to take a look around, okay? Come on, man. Let's do our thing. I've always wanted a place like this. Well, you really will do anything to avoid work, won't you, Arthur? Only where I can. Did you know Mr. Stewart? No. Did you know his daughter, Data, anything like that? No. I've always wanted a place like this. Filled with such delicate things. Please don't hurt her. You can beat me all you like, but I beg you, please don't harm her. I beg you, please don't hurt her. Ooh. Why are you doing this? Well, the reason is... Why are we doing this? Come on, you know the reason. 
Rich, get rich. The poor get poorer. Don't you worry your fancy little pants off. We're not here to hurt your mistress. Or lay on the side, you dirty old man. For such a distinguished individual, he certainly does have some dirty needs. She's my daughter, you pathetic cretin. Why don't you get on with it or whatever it is? You might get crunchy, you fucker. One more little outburst like that, the next one she gets. I'm not fucking around. sitting room on this lovely night having a lovely conversation. Take it upstairs boys. Whatever you please. No, you dad. Dad! Where'd you get the tape? We're on the home invasion, you fuck up. Always come prepared. <laughs> One of us has to be the brains. Alright. I hope that's not too tight, but it's better than, <laughs> it's better than the alternative. Hey! It'll be alright. Okay? Don't worry, we're not gonna hurt you. And we're almost done here. Everything will be all right. When I was growing up, my father was a heavy drinker. Yeah. Pour me one. Pour yourself one too. He's looking up your arsehole. Nothing funny now. I'd hate to put two on your chest and one up your ass. Yeah, I promise. A real, my word is my bond part guy, aren't you? That's what I had you pegged at. You don't happen to have anyone that can alibi you, do you? No, that's something else I don't have. Oh, that's a shame. Couldn't find a friend. No, they were working. Well, that explains why we never see them. Yeah. Do you work, Mr. Cork? No, but I've been using job search. How about a bus buddy? Well, my mum, she taught me not to talk to strangers. I'm surprised she could teach you anything, mate. Given her unforeseen absence. That's enough. We didn't have a place like this growing up. It's not what you would call a supporting, caring, or loving kind of family home. 
this one night I came home and my father was standing smack bang in the middle of the kitchen with this here fire on against my mother dearest head. I don't know what happened. She turned slowly with such fucking confidence. Defiance even. And she began to laugh. The old man didn't like that. We need to cut her a little. Are you fucking kidding me? Only a little. <laughs> Not to kill her or anything. Not to kill you or anything. Just to show you know who that we took care of you. Yeah. Otherwise you'll think we're pushed out. Okay? We need to make sure you won't call the cops or anything. Like a, a message, you know. You know, my fucking father was a no-nonsense sort of guy. He sees me, and without batting an eyelid, grabs me by the arm, and pulls me in front of my mother. Fuck, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... He's got a point. <laughs> Only a little one, okay? We'll be as gentle as possible. I'm not fucking doing it. Well, come on, man, I don't have the stomach for it. Who's your fucking idea? Yeah, as an idea, it fucking makes sense. You are a fucking child, man. Let me cut you a little, okay? If Yao comes up here, will you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. just to show you know who we handle business. Where's Yale? Is he okay? Well, you really will do anything to avoid work, won't you, Arthur? Arthur. Only where I can. Did you know Mr. Stewart? No. Did you know his daughter, Data, anything like that? No. She's been cooperating with us. She's coming in today to look at photographs, you know, pictures of guys, some of that history we talked about. You ladies forgot your purse. Give some trouble, boys. Only a little. Junior here handled business.
Hey, 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 ladies! What do you say? Drinks are on me. Well, they may be on you, but soon they'll be in me. Wow! <laughs> kill you to be less of a bitch than normal. Hey, hey! She's right, though. You're pretty grunt. What? Fuck off! <laughs> I'll get some third wheel, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I think you're but blessed in my <laughs> <laughs> All it's gonna look like is Papa Smurf found Baby Smurf less than alive. So distraught by her blood on the antique furniture, went downstairs, smashed a few drinks, and bang! Besides, this park's huge. No one's gonna know we're here. Hells, what's wrong? I'm not sure about all this ale. I don't think I can go through with it. You don't have to worry about anything. You can do this. <laughs> but what if Seth's right? Don't worry about it. I've planned this perfectly. We planned this perfectly. Don't you trust me? Of course I trust you. Mr. Cork, while you might not know her, is there any chance that she's going to know you? Not a chance. Like I said, detective, I was in the movies. And when I got out, I had a lunch. Well, a late lunch. Why late? By the time the session finished, it was about five o'clock. Wouldn't that make it an early dinner? Maybe for you.
I'm not okay. Uh, these. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, they've left. No, no, I'm, I'm not hurt or injured. Can go wrong, huh? What do you fucking call this then? We are fucked! We're not fucked. All we have to do is ditch the car and lay low. No one can prove anything. We just disappear. I don't care what anyone says. We took care of business. No witnesses. Just some snobby neighbour who thinks she saw the car. That's it. Yeah, he's right. We need, we need d ditch the car. We We'll meet back here in a couple of hours, okay? We, we need to be far, so far away from here and then we go underground, yeah? Agreed. That's the plan. We stick with that. Elliot, you take the keys. You ditch the car. Stay off the main streets, stay out of the shadows. No, 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 hang on. No, no, no. That's the plan, that's it. Let's go. Yeah, okay, just, just stick to the plan.
Come on. Come on. We'll be fine. Would you calm down? Are you shitting me? We broke into some poor old bastard's place, robbed it, trashed it. You fucking toyed with him like some psycho tearing the wings off flies. Fucking killed him. For what, man? No one forced you to come. You came of your own free will, just like we all did. We are tired of the haves having more than the have-nots. And now they'll all know they're not any fucking better than we are. Oh, <laughs> keep telling yourself that, mate. You're fucking deluded. You're not some fucking freedom fighter. You know why I had to be there, right? I had to be there for when you fucked it up. Where are we going? You know where we're going. Fuck's sake, Gail. You are right? Yeah, I'm right. Just fucking, we gotta get going. Come on, let's go. We should split up. Wait. What? Why? Because together we're creating too much attention. We're just better off separate. Separate? We're just two girls walking in and out of dangerous dark alleyways. <laughs> Sarcasm really doesn't work for you, kitty cat. <laughs> Stick to what you know. Anyway, by now the cops have probably found your fella's handiwork. He's not my fella. Oh, come on! On, baby girl, of course he is. You're just getting your feet wet with him now. What are you gonna do? Me? I'm gonna go and get something to eat, something to drink, and then I'm gonna go to the meetup. And after all of that loot is divvied up, Elliot and I are on on this. We. Bird to freedom. What about me? My dear, you're gonna do whatever you're gonna do. Just make sure whatever that is, it's for the right reasons. Not his, not mine, not anyone else's. Should I go? Enough, Hallie. You go your way, I'll go mine. I'll see you at the warehouse, yeah? If we're all lucky. Yeah, the abandoned vehicle, a late model black BMW sedan, 
Incidentally, it's the same make and model as a vehicle reported stolen from the scene of an earlier 101. Suspect's whereabouts currently unknown. Proceed with caution to the boat ramp on Dixon Street. Bill Code 2. It's a receipt. Searchly. Basis is Searchly 5. We finished up with the abandoned car. We are following up on new intel. Searchly 5 online. Keep going. Keep going. We've got to find somewhere. Fuck me, you're a girl. Open that one. What? Open the door. It's locked. We'll use that pretty little knife you cut that pretty little girl's face with. Did you kick the fucking door in? Because you open the fucking, fucking door. Quiet. Open the door now. Serious, yeah? Does she seem okay to you? Fucking worried about her. Are you worried about someone else other than yourself for a change? Fuck me, you are a piece of work to do that. It was really fucked up. Fuck. 
fuck you too. No, 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 no. First that house is an empty, and now the fucking cop. Yeah. And then the fucking old guy that you tore to shreds. You are a maniac, man. Sir, take it easy, man. Take it. I'm tired of taking it easy. Take it easy. Maybe I should start taking it easy with you, Gail. The illustrious Yale. Always coming up with the fucking super ideas, the brilliant plans, and when they fuck up, we all pay for it. Sir. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. Oh, it's not like you said it. Yeah. Fuck sleeves up. We'll make it out. Fuck you, you this fuck. Hang us out to dry. What are you gonna do? Huh? Can't be any worse than the situation he's put us in. Come on. Show everyone how you're gonna fuck things up even more. Hmm. Fuck. What's fucking tell you again? Plenty more where that come from. Fuck. He always has to be the hero. Huh? Even when he's the fucking cause. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Yo, man, what the fuck? One more time. I'm not fucking around. Well, what, are you gonna shoot me? Wasn't part of your plan, was it? But so much of tonight wasn't part of your plan, was it? Huh? The robbery. The robbery, sure. And the uh, scare tactics with the old guy, with the girl. That wasn't part of your plan, was it? What the fuck am I? What the fuck am I on about? Murder! Wasn't part of the fucking plan! Sure, the shit wasn't part of my plan, can you murder? That's not what I fucking signed on for. But murder was part of your night, wasn't it? You and him. That girl. Cutting from here to fucking here for all I know, so you are just as responsible as I am, if not more, you dumb. Oh, yeah. Do that, girl. Yeah, you didn't kill her, mate. She's still breathing. Fucking on with that. That fucking girl. No. That fucking girl. The fucking girl. We took care of that blood. The blood. You just fucking took care of business. Yeah. You saw the blood, but you didn't see the fucking body. And the news has the one witness that's helping the cops. Do you fucking know about this? Yeah, what the hell, man? Hey, Ali didn't know shit, okay? Okay, I, I told him I got this, let me take care of business. He went downstairs and started to, to sift through the house, and I fucking told her all about you, mate. Now who's the dumb cunt? Nah, no, you're fucking lying. You're a liar. You are a weak liar. If I'm a weak fucking liar, go ahead and shoot me. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, everyone's gonna calm down. No one's shooting anyone tonight. Yeah, he won't. Oh, why not? Think about it, man. You shoot me, who are you gonna pin this shit on? You wouldn't pin it on Indy. Sweet harmless Indy wouldn't hurt a fly. And of course there's Elliot. But even a dog like you wouldn't hang his only best mate out to dry like that. What about Hallie? Because if I'm gone, and you're not pinning this on the other two, then it's got to be Hallie. Would you let Hallie take it for you again? One more. Fucking word. One. More. Okay, kiddies. Um, you play nice, and Daddy's gonna go get the welcome home fiesta for my baby girl. Um, you want anything special? Don't worry about it. I'll surprise you. I'll surprise you. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but I had a thought. Yeah, um, we're worried about you. I mean, now that you're out back home, we think it's time we did something else. Something else? Something else, like, without Yale around. Without Yale? 
It isn't right what happened. Yeah, that's not fair. It won't happen again. Don't you think he's gonna have issues when he sees us trying to go our own way? Look, I have a plan that might seem a little extreme at first, but ultimately it will spell freedom for all of us. Yeah, I'm with these guys, Hallie. I mean, we need to do something now, something immediate. We're gonna end up in prison like you. Shut the Asshole. fuck up. Hey, well, we might end up dead. I'm not interested. It was a one-time thing. He feels terrible. He couldn't give two fucks about you, baby girl. Always take the fall. I have a record and I haven't committed a fucking crime yet. I mean, come on. He forced you into that stupid... Messed up. Fucking horrible situation. And you got pinched. To make matters worse, he picked you up in the very fucking car that he stole that put you there in the first place. I would go along with it. What would we do? That's up to my man Seth. Up to the who and the what now? Come on, man. It would mean more if it came from you. And plus, we are all in this together. Don't puss out. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, I'm in. I even have the perfect house. Keys, keys. I've abandoned my keys. Keys, keys. Keys, keys. Chocolate bar. Cherry right? Done. Got it. What about Hallie? Because if I'm gone, and you're not pinning this on the other two, then it's gotta be Hallie. Would you let Hallie take it for you again? One more fucking word. One more. I fucking warned you. You heard me warn you. Hey, party goers! What a crazy fucking night! <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? You think he'll, he'll be alright? Do you think he'll, he'll be alright, eh? I, I, only, I only clipped him. Surely he'll be. But you, you heard him. He left a witness behind, behind for us to get caught. To, for us to get take the rap. What's he talking about? It doesn't matter, we have to keep moving. Where's Seth? Has Hallie turned up yet? What do you mean, where's Hallie? Well, we split up. We, we thought it would be better if, uh, safer if we split up. Well, where is she? I don't know. She went her way and I went mine.
Seth's dead. How? He set us up, the selfish prick. He thought it out from the start. He left a witness. That girl from the house? How did you know that? It was in the newscast. No. no, 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 no. The newscaster only said that a witness was cooperating. They didn't say shit about a girl. So how, how could you know that it, How did you know about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nothing like that. Just don't hurt her. Please don't. I want to hear her, pal. Don't look to him. Look at me. Right here. I'm the king of the castle. When... When you were still inside and... Harley and I were waiting... Elliot and Seth... Seth. Suck it up. When they came back, they had they had blood on their shirts, and they said they cut her, but they left her alive. Why did they leave her alive? Why cut her at all? They cut her so that you would think that they handled business. So you knew that Tweedledum and Tweedledead cunt was setting me up. But only but stop talking. Indigo? I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. It's okay. It's all right. Why is it okay? Why don't you care? How, how is this okay? Indigo, sweet little indigo. It's okay because you wouldn't hurt a fly. You're not a threat, so you get a pass. What does that even mean? It means that you are going to pretend that you had nothing to do with this evening's events. I was at home watching TV. It means that you are leaving now, tonight. Where am I going? I don't give three shits. But how will you find me? I won't. I don't know you. And I don't know you. It was supposed to be fun. Us versus them. I'm having a blast!
Alright, moving on. Do you happen to know anything about a stolen mini? <laughs> really? That's classic. That's ironic. <laughs> Nothing? Not fans of classic cinema? The Italian Job, 1969, so Michael Caine, Benny Hill, it's a great flick. I'm not following Mr. Cork. Well, The Italian Job is about a caper performed using Mini Coopers. Now you're telling me someone's pulled a caper to steal Mini Coopers. It's classic. You seem to be quite the movie buff, Mr. Cork. That's the benefits of not having a job, isn't it, Arthur? We gonna check and see if the witness has arrived. You sit tight, Arthur. Yeah, no, we'll be fine. So. So you saw a movie, had a late lunch, arrived by bus, offered your seat to an elderly woman who Probably had a name. Heard about the gist of it? Yeah. What time did you leave the cinema complex? Late. Are you inclined to say closer to eight, ten, later? Later, definitely later. The complex closes at ten. What were you still doing there? The complex closes at ten to shoppers. But the last session is like 9.45. It's out close to midnight. I ask again. What were you still doing there? I was enjoying myself.
enjoying yourself. But can I go? I've got things to do. Of course, Mr. Cork. And I have a few more questions for you. Okay, fire away. Would you mind offering a sample of your DNA? For exclusionary purposes, of course. Of course. What have I got to do? Nothing. You just sit there, open your mouth, and swap the inside of your cheek. Hey, babe. Oi, right, Hallie. Babe! Hallie! Do I have to come in there or what? I'm almost ready. Babe! How are you up, good girl? Think they should be? They will be. What makes this hurt? Oh. Pastor Sullivan said why. Any other bodily fluids you want? Doesn't have to be for work. Be a take home project. Tempting. Thank you, Dr. Arthur. Winters has just arrived. Are you sure you don't want to get anything else off your chest? No. No? Nothing. No, I'll Yeah. Done? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll try. You know the thing I love about the usual suspects? What's that, Arthur? It's the twist at the end. You never see it coming. The big bad guy that they've been searching for. The mastermind that continues to evade them. The man, the myth, the legend that is Kaiser Soze. He's been sitting right there in front of them the whole time, telling them a story. They've got their man, right there. 
He even tells them, Kaiser doesn't exist. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. You are fucking deluded, you know that? Arthur? Detective? There's two things you have to understand. What's that? Firstly, that's just a movie. And the second? I've got a witness, mate. 